Today, I'm going to replace my crossfader on my Mixar Quattro's 4 channel mixer, and I'm going to show you guys how it's done. So you get to your gig and your first cut, you hear both songs, or your blend, you hear both songs. It is time to replace your crossfader. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace your crossfader on a Mixar Quattro's 4 channel mixer with Serato built in. Let's get it. So as you see, I've cleaned off a nice space right here. I want to make sure I have plenty of room to work. All we need is the part and one Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, we have 20 screws to take out and I made sure that all the power is unplugged from my mixer. So as you guys see, I put like 10 screws on this side and 10 screws on this side to kind of keep up with what's what. A little tricky, you want to not forget about the screws in the middle here and in the lows. But once you do that, you pull off your fader knobs, sampler knob, I guess I just sit on this side, and this can go on this side. Okay, and this should come off very easy, it shouldn't be any restraints. Once you pull off your fader knobs, come straight up, bingo, look at that beautiful right i actually have a can of air i'm going to blow in here while i got this open then i'm going to repair and replace my fader my cross fader that is man i'm so excited about this i got a gig tonight and this has to work perfectly taking out the previous cross fader And you'll see a little clip right here. Gently pull that out, wiggle it on out, left, right, left, right, left, right, bingo. There's the old crossfader. Wasn't bad. But here is a better crossfader, ladies and gentlemen. Some people compare this to the Inno Fader Pro X. There's all kind of comparisons out there. But I'm gonna use this tonight, so I'll let you guys know how it really works, you know, how well it really is. I don't think you would need it, but just in case you did get lost, there is a how-to right inside of here. So that's very useful to know. I've been DJing over 10 years, so I've done this a few times. Uh, most mixers are kind of like the same, you know, in a nutshell. The Serato mixers did come out and change the game a little bit with the Serato software built in. But for the most part, you got your crossfaders, you got your pots, you got your pads. That's kind of an add-on from the old school that I'm from, you know. We didn't have pads back in the day. And we did definitely didn't have software built into the mixers. So speaking of software, I'm going to show you guys how to program this to here. In just a second, I'm going to show you how to do that to where um, your laptop and software recognizes it. Uh, there are two black screws inside of here and inside of the old one. You don't have to worry about that though. So there's the build, just to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison. I guess bigger is better. Just to show you guys. I mean, it feels, it feels juicy <laughs> compared to, that feels a little, just to let you know, I would right away, I use this until it started bleeding and I only had it less than a year and it's already bleeding, but I gig every single weekend, not to brag, I am booked every weekend for a wedding, a club, a corporate event or something, right? So I use this every weekend. This one, I mean, it, it was some kicks there, you know, and, and it started bleeding less than a year so this here i mean it feels really really wet really loose and um i'm just gonna plug it up in just a minute and play it and show you guys too and yes of course this Galileo crossfader came with its own screws, but I'm just using the old ones. Um, no need to have to replace them with the same exact screw. The screw wasn't messed up, it was the crossfader, so. We're gonna, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of attitude. You know, we're gonna stick with that. Here we go. Bingo. And it also came with its own little top piece. Let me show you guys how to program your Galileo crossfader to your Mixar Quattro's 4-channel 
Serato. And if you guys are wondering why in the world, if I'm a you know DJ, quote unquote, why do I have a four channel? Um, Cause you know, most of the two channel mixes are like for scratching and D DJing and showing out, right? Well, like I, like I told you earlier, I'm a corporate DJ slash wedding DJ slash club DJ. And on this mixer, I can plug in several wireless mics and corded mics. And I can plug in several sources like karaoke machines if the corporate party, you know, that's paying top dollar wants to have karaoke. Here's an open fader for the karaoke. Uh, here's an open fader for that phone or you know somebody want to play a voicemail from grandma and granddad that passed away and couldn't make it to the wedding and we want to plug in with RCA here's that channel open without me having to undo anything you know so having four channels has really helped me out and as far as mixing oh yes here's that acapella here's that beat here's that full song here's that remix so yeah it's, it's all kind of ways to be more creative and uh, to serve your clients better and to make more money while you serve your clients on a different scale. So two channel mixer, yeah, great, but you're limited. You can always upgrade a four channel mixer to a great scratch and cross fader and you rock solid. So there's my truth behind why I have a four channel mixer. I do have a two channel mixer, but it's out there in my storage and I rarely ever use it because I'm serving the client better with a four channel. So there you have it. Not to bore you, but I'm just gonna put all this back together now and we got 20 screws to put back in here once you get our 20 back in here i put the faders back on plug up the mixer and then what we'll do is we will program the crossfader to the board So, no big deal, there it is. And that feels like butter, baby! Like butter, baby! <laughs> Once we power the mixing board on, we hold down both shift buttons for five seconds until we see something show up here, giving us further instructions. Here we go. So now we use this. In my case, I have version 0.17 on here, right? So I'm gonna visit mixars.com and I'm gonna update this from version 0.17 to 0.20 and then I will see the options that I'm supposed to see according to the instructions. If you see the same error, no biggie, get your laptop out, plug it in, go to the website, update the firmware, and then come back here, I'll show you guys. So from support and downloads, uh, we're not gonna do any of these download drivers and softwares, that's mainly for windows in this area um we're gonna go down to where we see quattro here we go so that's firmware 21 but here's the initial firmware that has the galio upgrade this is what we're looking for it's a zip file download this to desktop all right now that i got the proper software downloaded on my laptop i'm just going to hold down the fix q and the tap button power this on and you should see this show up Firmware update, here we go. And it's blinking. All right, now that we got the firmware updated, we can just go in here and hold down shift on both sides for five seconds. All right, the first thing you'll see is Serato. Let me get a little closer for you guys. You'll see that Serato routing. Uh, we're going to move this here, this little button here, we're going to move that until we see calibrator. So we're going to do some calibration right here, we're going to click that, it's going to say move to the left, boom, push effect select, move to the right, boom, push effect select, story, it is done. Now she wrote version 0.21 now. And we can exit that guy. Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna power cycle it, cut it off, cut it back on, load up my Serato, and we should be rock solid. So there you have it, everything's installed. Let's just see if it works properly. I'm gonna do a quick little sound check, nothing too special. DJ D Lo. It's 
Friday night and I feel alright. It's really short, man. Here on the west yes, side. I want to give a big shout out to Hollywood DJ. Big shout out to Alan. My shipment got messed up. He actually called me and then texted me personally a shipping number from Los Angeles. I'm over here near Atlanta, Georgia, y'all. So for him to do that and to have it here on time, just in time for my gig tonight, that's love. So thank you, Alan. I will be doing more business with you guys at HollywoodDJ.com. And just for that, man, I'm going to drop a link down below. Y'all go shop with Alan. They take care of us DJs out here. Oh, and big shout out to my brother. Establish is the name of the brand I got on today. As you guys see, Establish, it's a beautiful brand. It's my blood brother. I'm going to put his link down below as well. Y'all check out Establish.com for your apparel, your gear. He also have headphones. You know, as DJs, we love wireless and we love to plug in. So there you go there. Big shout out to my brother, Sean Arias. Established.com. All right, folks, so there you have it. I hope this video has been helpful to you. I want you to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We can talk down below in the comments. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up and visit my blog at helpfuldjguide.com. I am DJ Delo, and thank you for watching.